The work is underway at Nasser Medical Complex. The medical teams, the technical teams are trying all together to restore some of the very basic medical services to be provided for the population that has already come back to Khan Yunus. Around 300,000 of people moved from Rafah towards Khan Yunus and Gaza Central Area. And with those comes the need to the medical care, water supply and food supplies. Khan Yunus Nasser that was extremely affected by the Israeli operations is now trying to restore some of its services. Given the situation that is aggravating in Rafah, the uh, Abu, Kam, Abu Yusuf al Najjar hospital is already out of service, which serves around one third of Rafah area. The European Gaza Hospital, according to the statements that were made by the Palestinian Minister of Health, is facing now an imminent risk of full disruption of all medical services. They, uh, that is because of the uh, lack to uh, full supplies that have been disrupted for a week now. And because of that, they are unable to move their ambulances, they are unable to move their medical teams, they are unable to provide the life-saving medical care that has been disrupted intermittently for the past time and is now threatened of a full stoppage and with that comes the great risk to the life of the people, to the lives of the patients, to the life of dialysis patients. And now in the background, as you can see, people are just gathering in Nasser Hospital. People are hopeful that those services would be restored as soon as possible because they have seen enough suffering and they have increasing vulnerabilities and needs that need to be addressed by those medical teams who have been besieged in Nasser Hospital and who have been suffering and some of them were arrested.